Exactly. What would your assessment be of uh, how Parliament has conducted themselves, especially uh, on the back of the current economic challenges, the need to pass a budget, and the debate thereafter? What are your quick thoughts on it? Well, I think uh, we we are beginning to see, I think on the back of what, what has happened uh, in the last few days, you know, what we have been expecting of uh, our parliament in all the years that have gone by, that, you know, they should really wake up and exercise the power of the past that has been conferred on them uh, by the constitution. You know, we globally, we categorize parliaments into three, budget making parliaments, budget influencing parliaments, and then those that simply just rub up them whatever comes from the executive. Over the years, uh, our parliament has behaved more uh, of the third category, where most of what comes from the executive uh, gets passed without a lot of questioning. Uh, a parliament during the, the budget process is supposed to comb through every expenditure line and question the justification for every um, expenditure that is in the budget. I, and, and I think that in this occasion, we are beginning to see some of that. Hmm. Questioning uh, the justification for the line for the cathedral, questioning the justification for some budget items that uh, I, mean, I understand could not be explained, questioning the justification for a number of uh, budget items. Hmm. And I can only I can only wish them all the best, and I can only say uh, we want to see more of that. I mean, as uh, our democracy matures. But you see, this time the economy is biting everybody, and I think that that is what is uh, giving everybody a wake up call. Right, and Doctor uh, Draman, finally, before you take leave of us. What is your expectation going into 2023, which is a year before the election year? Should we still see this kind of, you know, uh, a split parliament that scrutinizes extensively budgets and uh, other bills that are brought before it? Or there is likely to be compromise somewhere along the line? Well, I don't think so. I mean, the election year is indeed when, I mean, the year before the election is the year when they even have to work with a lot of uh, keen and evil eyes. And looking at everything, uh, and then particularly, I would strongly recommend that going into 2023, before 2024, our parliament establishes uh, a debt management committee because our debt needs to be managed very carefully, and we need to have an oversight committee that looks into that. So, my hope is that in 2023. Uh, we should have a committee like that. And then in 2023, we should make sure that the kind of budget overruns and over expenditures that we have seen during election years mm. are prevented. Otherwise, we might not come out of this uh, current economic challenges that we have uh, at the moment. Okay.